<laughs> Alright. <laughs> Hopefully you know what that song is from. If you don't, then you didn't have a good childhood. It is me, Danny Mercado. It's another Happy Hour cast. Hopefully one day I'll put this on iTunes. Oh, and my hooker is here, but she's too late. Playing GTA Online again. Unfortunately, I did not get Arkham Knight early like I was hoping to get. Apparently, Warner Brothers is being quite the stickler on holding on to that game. What a shock. Maybe I'll get it Monday. Maybe I'll stream it. Or maybe I'll get banned from Twitch. Who knows? Follow me on Twitch or Twitter or Facebook. Last Respawn is everything you can find me as. I hope everyone had a good week. I sure as hell did because it was E3. Lots of great announcements. Lots of good surprises. Oof. I am drinking around high right now, folks. That is not good. But here's the thing. Um, I'm going to start this pretty much. I don't think there's really anything else to talk about other than E3. So this is probably going to be like an E3 special kind of thing. Hopefully people in the chat join in with their opinions. There was some discussion earlier on this week. But feel free to bring it up if you're in the chat. Um... I think I put my email last time, but I don't think anybody watched it. But uh, definitely, if you want to email me questions, it's latchrespawn at gmail.com. All right, let's get this podcast started. Uh, we'll start with the press conferences. The first press conference was Bethesda, and it was Sunday night, which for some reason they started at 9.30, my time. It was really annoying because Game of Thrones season finale happened to be that night. And I'm not got no spoilers, no spoilers. It's a great season finale, great season. And uh, yeah, uh, if you're a fan of that show, if you're not a fan of that show, you definitely should be watching that show. All right, so Bethesda, um, they opened up with Doom, which looked really cool. Um, I would say I'm a Doom fan. I don't know if like I'm a hardcore Doom fan, um, but that game looked amazing. I, it was violent as hell. They implemented some new like melee system where you're just pretty much punching the shit out of demons in half and they glow like different colors when you do it like blue and orange and if you do it in blue you get ammo if you do it in orange you get health so it was really cool um definitely i i can't wait to play it it looked amazing um then uh after doom i think they showed Battleborn or was it Dishonor? I pr well, I can't remember the order, but um, eh, I mean I played the original Dishonor. It was alright. It wasn't like it wasn't like anything crazy. Um, I mean, it, it, they all they showed was like a CGI trailer, some ninja chick doing like some assassin stuff. I don't know. I wasn't that impressed. I mean, the first game was alright. I just didn't like the art style. The art style just came off like wonky, like weird like almost like I don't know how to describe it it's just really weird looking I, I don't like the eye star pretty much is what I'm trying to say <laughs> um Bethesda what else they showed I don't know I don't think they showed anything else I don't think there's any other game to talk about from Bethesda mm. oh yeah Fallout 4 damn did they show a demo of Fallout 4 Todd Hart came on stage like a boss and pretty much slowly teased Fallout 4 to a point where like I was just going insane. Like they were literally showing artwork at one point. I'm just like, show the damn game. Like, come on, man. Finally he did, and it looked amazing. You can create your own character from the beginning, like every Fallout Skyrim game ever. But what's really cool is uh, you, you were able to switch between male and female, which I think you can do in the past. Yeah, you can do that in the past games. But the major uh, feature for which is the first in the series of their games is that you, your character will actually talk within the game which is really cool so and the cutscenes felt really dynamic like almost like a Mass Effect kind of style I mean the game looked amazing I wanted it I want to pl play it now I wish I was playing it right now um, one of the most surprising features was that you're able to build your own base kind of community in the game for materials you find in the game. So uh, that was actually, it, it's very, I guess you could say Minecraft-ish 
And you gotta like build up defenses because you know you're gonna have raiders and mutants coming out. That was really cool. I like people like move in and you gotta like take care of your community and you can like trade between communities. That was really cool. Um, you'll see how your dog companion. He'll like attack or fetch. Um, I like flying vehicles with you. It's really cool. Um, one thing I read this week was that uh. Dog, I think it goes by dog meat. He doesn't die actually, which I, I mean, I guess that's cool. You don't want him to die, but at the same time, now that you know he doesn't die, there's like no stress when he's in danger. I kind of want that stress. I don't know, I, I, you know, maybe just me. But the biggest shock of oh, there was also the special edition. I don't know how much it was. I forgot to look up the price. Literally came with a pimp boy, like life size pimp boy that you put you put your phone in, that comes with an app. That hooks up to the game. Really cool. Yeah, the, yep, Lizard Man, the dog is invincible. He will never die. So, I don't, I, it's whatever, I guess. Um, Butterscotch01 can join. Within a f almost an hour, less than an hour, I'm going to open this party up and, we're, and I'm going to have like a huge party. I have a GTR online party for anyone who wants to join. Or I do like a private sesh. Lizard Man says the special edition is $120. God damn. These special editions. They're fucking insane. Um, ooh, smuggler plan. I think the best thing about the Fallout. Oh, wow, now my session drops. I think the best thing about. The Fallout 4 presentation was the fact that he announces the release date at the end. And it's coming out November 15th, folks. November 15th. Or I might be. Actually, I think it's November 10th. Was it November 10th? I don't know. It's coming out in the fall. That's all you need to know. That's all you need to care about. Like, come on. What else do you need? Like, that is literally the most amazing news. Uh, I mean, I heard rumors about it, but you don't know till you hear it, and that was awesome. So, all right. Sneaky Mimi, Sony, Shino, Yoshi tries Microsoft Halo Lens, calls it super cool. Lizard Man was hoping for a closer release date. Really? Dude, that, for a game that just, like, literally got announced, like, a month ago, that is, I think that's awesome, and I, I kind of agree with Todd Howard. When he says that he is tired of people like, you know, announcing games way too early. And it's true. Like, dude, like, I hate, like, waiting so long. Like, it's, it's totally cool. Like, I get it. Um, what else, what else, what else, what else, what else? Alright, so Microsoft's press conference. Let's get to that. Um, my honest opinion of Microsoft's press conference, I was not, I mean, it wasn't shit, but I would give it a 7 out of 10, to be honest. Like, I, there really wasn't any really huge surprises. Like, I wasn't, like, blown off my seat. Um, like, they open up with Halo 5, which, it was gonna either be Halo 5, or, or freaking, uh, Black Ops 3, which, I, to be honest, I'm kinda shocked they didn't show Black Ops, that's probably the first Microsoft press conference in a long time that, um, they didn't have a Call of Duty game, but whatever, Halo 5 single player they showed off, looked, eh, um, they also showed a new game, uh, I think it was called Recreate. It's by the creative Metroid. It looked promising, but it was like it was like a CGI trailer, so I I mean it looked interesting. I, I, I don't know, you know, let's we'll see what happens. Oh, I just got killed by mine. Um 
the rare one surprise I like was the rare collection that was cool um, definitely looking forward to that it's 30 bucks pretty much like almost all the old games they made GoldenEye is not on it and actually rare had a good reason for why GoldenEye is on it but I'm pretty sure it was like a licensing issue but they were just like well they didn't officially make the game like they you know they they helped make the game but it's not like characters based that they made like Conkers or Banjo Kazooie where they made from the ground up so yeah whatever I mean GoldenEye is not as good as you remember when you play it now you know like I I I've downloaded the old Perfect Dark I've been playing it this week and it's just like eh you know so you try the new controller, all the triggers. Oh yeah, Microsoft announced the Elite controller for $150 that you can customize the, the little side triggers and all this. And what's crazy is that I once signed up for a survey. I think some weird feedback on my mic. Um, I once signed up for a survey here or to, to try out these people came to my house like these three guys yeah this sounds like a beginning of a snuff film or porno but um they came over to my house and I swear to god swear on my mom's life that controller you saw for $150 I played that controller they didn't say who was who, who it was for they just said you know try out the buttons tell it like I had to give them all feedback and then I, I loaded up I tried to load up destiny but like I had a download update so like I loaded up um, the Halo MCC collection and I, and I tried it. I mean, it's a, it was a really cool concept. Like, the, the fact that you can, like, adjust the joysticks and the D-pad was really cool. Especially, like, they had, like, a fighting stick joystick. But I feel like $150 was overpriced. And I remember at the end, they asked me, like, oh, how much would, it, would you would you want this to be? And I was like, man, controller's like $60 now. And I guess something like this. I was like 80 to 100. I, I feel like past 100 is way too much. And well, apparently they didn't really listen to me. But yeah, I, I played that Elite Controller. And it was alright. I don't think it's $150 worth of alright. So. That's, oh, I am on fire. Alright, let me. I got a lot of things going on in the chat. Con H Hurdle, Hurdle of the Dead says Conquers, but yeah, yeah. When I anything Conquers, dude, I'm I'm buying that fucking rare thing, and I'm gonna literally do like a marathon of Conquers Bad Fur Day. Quote me now, fucking marathon of Conquers Bad Fur Day. I'm telling you right now. Oh, these guys are taking out explosives. Oof. Uh, I'm trying to nail everything for the Microsoft press conference. Uh, they showed the the Hololens thing. That looked cool, but I mean, like, what the. F other than Minecraft, like how is that? Like, I mean, I, I guess you gotta try it out, but I don't know. It, it, it was, it looked cool. Like, I'm not gonna lie, it looked cool, but it's like again, I'm, I, like we have these VR headsets. I already play the VR headsets than the Hololens, which is just like, you gonna have this whole thing in front of you. Like, is Grand Theft Auto gonna be like in front of me? Like, I don't, I don't, I don't get it. Like, I don't know. Um, then Microsoft announced the gear to nobody's surprise. Uh, oh, backwards compatibility. Woo! Come on, folks. Backwards compatibility is coming to Xbox One. I'm, I'm, gonna be, I'm already. I can already play my 360 games because I'm a preview member. Um, some of the games I downloaded: uh, Battle Block, Perfect Dark. I was able to play, no problem. So definitely works. I think it works a lot better than the backwards compatibility on 360 to Xbox. So I'm psyched for that. Apparently. Uh, in the fall, you know, they're going to release a lot more. I think 100 games. Um, they are doing voting right now. I posted the link on my Facebook, on Last Respawn, and Twitter. So you can go vote for which 360 games you would like to be able to play on Xbox One. You take your 360 disc, put it into your system, and it downloads a digital copy. And it pretty much like tricks the... Uh, it tricks it, like it tricks the system into thinking it's like an Xbox One game. And it works pretty good. And you're able to use all your Xbox One features. So I was able to stream. And yeah, I that was pretty awesome. And Sony definitely did not announce that. I was, shocked. I was actually really shocked to, that that came. Um, and the, they announced Gears of War Ultimate Edition. Who cares? I have the beta. I play the beta. The game looks like shit. Um, 
And a lot of fuck. Oh shit. All right. Oof. Oof. Spill my drink. Oh no, that's not good. <laughs> that's not good. I almost spilled that. Where? Well, all right. Let me make sure I didn't spill that shit on my Xbox One, because that would suck right now. I'll tell you right now. Ah, I just I haven't been drinking that much. Whatever. All right, 360 is good. It's 360 good. That's all that matters. 360 is good. All right. Let's get back to this. <laughs> I I don't know if I could do a podcast while playing a game and oh, I don't know. I don't know why I thought this was a good idea. Um. You hear buzzing. My freaking neighbor is uh uh he's mowing the lawn by me right now. So. I don't know what can you do, man. Um, oh, I'm about to die. Oh, 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 I'm dead. Uh, they show Gears of War Ultimate Edition. I have the beta. I play the beta. The game looks like shit, which makes no sense in my opinion. God, did my mic die? Like, what's going on with this? Every time I get like a... Um, yeah, I, I don't understand how the Gears of War looks like such shit right now. Like, it makes no sense to me. God damn, what is up with my, like, I don't know, does this mic fucking break? Are you crazy? I don't know. It's be me cursing out for the rest of the thing. Um, yeah. I don't, I'm not buying that Gears of War shit. Maybe I'll game fly it. Uh, Gears of War first one is my least favorite. You know, I don't. It's just, I don't. It makes no sense to me. Oof, headshot. I haven't played free game in a while, so I'm sucking so bad right now. Um, The last thing they showed was Gears 4. And honestly, it looked, it looked graphically, it looked good. Gameplay wise, look boring. It obviously t looked like it took place after Vets Gears of War 3, which, in my opinion, I mean, I don't know how you continue that story because at the end of. Spoiler alert! Spoiler alert! For Gears of War 3. Uh. Yeah. Uh, who's this? Oh, what the fuck? I thought it was in party. Yeah. I'm playing. I I can already do. I can already do. I already, I already do, I already, I'm already playing 360 games. I'm part of the preview program. Yep, that's. You just. Yeah. Um. Send me a message, and I'll invite you. Oh, hello. All right. Well, apparently. Someone could hear me in the chat because I don't know how I was in a party, and that's weird. So maybe that feedback wasn't on me. Um. So yeah, yeah, Gears of War 4, blah blah blah. Microsoft press conference, I give that shit a seven out of ten. It's very disappointing in my opinion. Uh, the next press conference was EA's, which is oof, oh, that shit was so boring. That shit was so boring. Uh, that shit was so boring. Um, that shit was so fucking. Oh, honestly, all I, I watched that shit just to fucking like. What the fuck is this shit? Oh. But no one. All right, there you go. Yeah, EA. That shit was so boring. At one point, they had some soccer player Pele on, and. I mean, yeah, he's like some honored dude, great, but you liked, what did you like about EA's press conference? It was so boring. 
It was literally the most boring conference. Like what the? They had like the only thing they had was like Battlefront and like they okay Mirror's Edge the cool open world Mirror's Edge hell yeah. Like other, other than that it was just like all I wanted was Battlefront. They took forever to get to it. That shit was like the worst one. EA's was the worst conference. The worst conference. Like I don't know why they took out Pele. Like who the fuck cares? Like Dance Central. They didn't even show Dance Central. What are you talking about? They did. I, I was drinking. I don't remember. That shit was so boring. That's, all I remember is that shit being boring. I think that was Dance Central. I think it was Just Dance. I mean, Just Dance. Oh, don't they do Dance Central? I don't know. That shit sucked. No, that was Ubisoft, dude. The guy, the guy who can't sing was Ubisoft's. No, EA's Madden and shit. You, um, I was wondering, how the fuck did you like the EA shit? That shit sucks so bad. That was, yeah, the guy who signed with Ubisoft. Ubisoft was really good. I mean, open... I was, we're gonna just... Well, the only wordy thing about EA was... Uh, just fucking, like, Battlefront. Like, that, that's honestly the only thing I remember... Like, that's all I wanted to watch for EA. Oh, no, they open with Mass Effect, which, I mean, it wasn't really a shock. It was a CGI trailer. It looked cool. It looked very, like, first Mass Effect. But we're not getting it until next year, fall. But it definitely looked promising. Um, let me see. Yeah, it was, Star Wars Battlefront looked amazing. Um, literally just looked amazing. I, I just, like, wanted to play it. I had one complaint is that it looked like it moved a little slow. I don't know if that game runs 60 frames per, sec per second or it's just the movement. But it kind of looked like it moved slow. But I mean, from what I've read, it's, people say it plays good. So I guess, you know, that's all that matters in my book. So I can't wait to play it. Uh, the next one was Ubisoft. Which lives in man. Mass Effect made EA's conference. No, it did not. All they did was like show CGI. They didn't even show gameplay. Like, if they showed gameplay, then I would have made that conference. That conference is boring. I, I mean, the game ain't till next fall, so I guess. If you, if you fall anything, you know that it was an, it leaked so bad. And like, I like, I like the Ma like Mass Effect Three is disappointing. Like it was good, but like that ending. Well, no, I don't even get to have a conversation. Let's get to Ubisoft. Ubisoft's press conference was amazing. Open up with a new, the, a sequel to South Park. It, I think it was the, the Fractured Boho is it called now. The first one was the Stick of Truth, and now this one's the Fractured Fractured Butho. Um, and it looked awesome. I I loved the first one. The first one was so good. Which reminds me, I need to vote for that game to be back to the camp. I think I did. Damn, what the hell is wrong with me today? Um. Yeah, that the, the the two creators came on stage and said everything. One thing that was really bugging me is the stupid headsets that you saw at every press conference look so stupid. It's hilarious. Um, then Ubisoft showed off. Uh, what was it? No honor? With honor? I don't know. It's something honored. As you can see, I'm I'm a very professional here. You know, I sh I should have wrote things down, but apparently I just didn't want to write anything down. Yeah, No Honor, I think it was called. And that looked amazing. It looked like a... Uh, oh, somebody's following me. Probably going to blow me up or something. Um, no Honor looked... <laughs> Lizardman says, Too bad Fra Fracture Buffalo will never get that 9.5 from GameStop. Who cares about GameSpot? If you read GameSpot, you're, you're a giant kid who likes big pictures. That's my opinion. And I'm sticking to it. I don't read GameStop. My opinions. Sorry. Uh, no honor. I think it was called. Uh, looked like a melee hack and slash. Uh, mixed knights, samurai, and Vikings. And it, you apparently play online and fight each other in melee combat. And it looked really cool, but I'm really curious to see how they balance melee combat online. Uh, that's a hard, that's a tough thing to do, in my opinion. Uh, but a lot of people, previews that played it said it looks promising. So let's, 
it so it comes out because the thing with Ubisoft they show an amazing game like you know Watch Dogs then you get the game and then it's just complete other shit that's in my opinion shit rating I uh Ubis oh no EA show Need for Speed I don't I never get oh well, we're past the EA buddy yeah, I guess I should mention they show Need for Speed the new one I guess it was just called Need for Speed which is like a reboot or whatever. Um, and I mean, graphical look cool, but I never give it. I don't care about the Need for Speed franchise. Never did. Never will. Sorry. Uh, Ubisoft showed off Just Dance. What a shock! I think some guy came out dance. Couldn't really sing. Uh, that was important. Um, show the new CGI trailer for Assassin's Creed Syndicate. I, don't, I really don't care for the Assassin's Creed franchise anymore. If you do, good for you. Uh, I, I think it's stale. I think it needs to take like a two year break and come back with new mechanics, mechanically, and just start with. I don't even I don't even know how they continue to start after part three. After part three, they kill like the main dude that, with the ancestors, so I don't even. I, I just don't care. Like, I've, I've given up. Unity was like the last straw, and it was just a complete mess. And even if it worked. If, even if it didn't have like all those glitches, it was just boring. It was boring as hell. So sorry, Assassin's Creed. I'm not interested in you. Bye bye. Uh, they showed off. Ooh, they showed off Division, which looked really good. Um, there's a beta in December. I, I'm pretty sure I signed up for it. Um, they showed the Dark Zone, and apparently in the Dark Zone you can meet up with other people. It's kind of like the, well. There's gonna be a lot of comparisons between Division and Destiny. Um, this message like Unity. I don't know why. I would just, I don't know. Um, yeah, Division looks promising, but it has it's like an MMO shooter like Destiny, so I'm kind of like worried because we all know Destiny's a repetitive piece of garbage. Lizzie Men says Dark Zone equal den of assholes. Yes, apparently in the Dark Zone you can run to other players like in Destiny where you see other players. You can team up, uh, help each other, get loot. But apparently you have to extract the, extract the loot. I guess you have a base. They didn't really explain that. Uh, the other team decided to raw kill the other people so they could take their loot. And then at the end, one of their teammates and their team left the team and killed all of them. So, yes. Dark Zone is... I don't know how much I'm playing Dark Zone, especially on Xbox, because everybody's just gonna be betraying everybody. And yeah, that just, I don't know about that. The last game that Ubisoft showed up. And it's, I thought the, that game they were showing off was Just Cause 2, but then that, that's Square Enix, I forgot. I'm an idiot. And, uh,. It looked four people jump out of a parachute into like Mexico and they're shooting people and it's all tactical and it looked awesome and I for some reason thought it was just calls like an idiot. And it actually turned out to be a new Ghost Recon game. Uh, I think it was called Wildlands. And yeah, that looked really awesome. So if Division sucks, we got a new awesome Ghost Recon open world drive vehicles, four player. That looked really awesome. I wish I could have played it. Uh, I'm kind of disappointed that, oh yeah, they Ubisoft definitely showed off some more Rainbow Six Siege. They showed off Terrace Hunt, um, which I mean looks similar to the multiplayer mode. So, I honestly I played the I played the game last E3 and it played amazing. Like it's very intense, so I'm very excited for it. But they definitely need to show new modes or single player. I don't know. There's actually a single player because they showed them like uh oh God I forgot this actress's name. Like famous actress. Lizzie Man says Wildlands looks amazing. Yes, it does. Very amazing. But I've yet to play with anybody online that can be tactical. Everybody playing online does not like follow tact. Everyone just runs in and blows shit up. I want to be tactical like that. I want to sneak in, sneak out. You know? If we get caught while we're sneaking, then you know, it happens. Then we gotta roll with it. But that looked amazing. Ubisoft conference was like, I would say, third best 
a Bethesda second best. And now we're going to play, talk about Sony's press conference. And there's a lot of controversy here. My, I have my friend Sneaky, I don't know if Sneaky Mimo's still in the chat. But he does not like Sony. He, I, I, I would, I guess you could call him um, a, I guess you could call him uh, a uh, Xbox fanboy. So I don't know why you would want to be a fanboy of Xbox these days. I don't know. I mean, I am playing on their system. Watch the whole system crash now. But yeah, Sony's press conference started off with Last Guardian. It's it's alive. It's back. Granted, it's not an easy game to demo. Um, not the most exciting game to demo. Um, but if you've played any of those games from that creator, uh, Eco, Shadow Colossus, those games are like art house Zelda kind of games. They are the closest thing you get to art. And I'm very glad that Last Guardian is still alive, coming out to PS4. Still looks good. I can't wait for it. I don't care what anybody says. Those games are really beautiful. They're like Sony's Zelda, pretty much. I would say Sony's Zelda. And it's it's still alive, like still alive. We're running out of time. I got like ten. Um, I mean, Sony was just dropping bombs after bombs after bombs. Like after that. They freaking showed off, uh, oh, the remake people have been crying for, for forever, freaking Final Fantasy 7, and I'm not a Final Fantasy fan, I tried to get into that franchise, I got into Final Fantasy 10, and I got into it, I really did, and I got, I got freaking robbed. Someone broke into my house, and they stole my PlayStation 2 and my GameCube. But they didn't take it the wires; they just took the system. So they were either they had the wires, or they were just crackheads. But I'm gonna go with the latter. So yeah, I I was like, yeah, I'm never not playing. I'm not playing through all that. I got like really far into Final Fantasy X. So I was like, I'm not doing that again. Um. So yeah, there was the Final Fantasy remake that everyone's been crying for. They sold like a CGI driller, whatever. I'll try it out if I have a PS4. But I'm, I was the biggest surprise out of that conference was motherfucking Shenmue 3. Like, <laughs> I, 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 uh, that that was really awesome. And and it wasn't even the game. It was the to launch the Kickstarter. That was even the crazy thing. That that Kickstarter. Got funded within nine hours. Two million dollars in nine hours. I'm gonna put some money in it. They already made their goal. I don't have to put money. But 30 bucks, I got a digital copy of the game. So, well, maybe, I, you know, I want, I want to like the cover. You know, I think I want a physical copy to be honest. So I gotta look at the new. But I know for like $10,000, you got like the Shemu jacket and somebody instantly bought that. <laughs> I mean, it was either someone really rich or someone who had like savings for their mortgage and it was just like, I gotta get this jacket. That's crazy. I mean, I can't wait. I loved like Shem was one of my favorite games, top ten. Like that game to me is just like it was crazy. It was just ahead ahead of his time. And I don't know like how Shemu three can live up to hype. There's so much like hype to love. that game, like I don't know. That's gonna be tough. They should definitely talk to Rockstar or something. Um what else did they show? They showed... Oh, 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 almost done with the crash. What else did they show? I think they showed some indie stuff. Um, they showed some indie stuff. They showed... Oh yeah, which was shocked. They showed Black Ops 3, which was just like... Black Ops, more Call of Duty, don't care. I know Lizard Man cares because he like streams that all the time. But I don't I don't care for Call of Duty. I think it's just garbage at this point. Oh my god, yes, that's what they showed. They showed the first uh look well it was a CGI it was a CGI trailer. I don't know why people keep doing this, but it was the new Hitman game. Oh I can't tell you how much of a Hitman fan. When I, I saw that I was just like freaking out. It's just called Hitman. Uh, I mean, the creators are not trying to call it a reboot, but it seems like they're trying to do a reboot. 
Yeah, they got the rice this time. What are you talking about, Hurdle? Um. Yeah, I, for a moment there, I thought Hitman was like exclusive to PS4. I was like, I gotta go buy a PS4, but they got like exclusive missions, so whatever. But apparently, like, they're going back to like the open world aspect, like really open world levels. You, you're gonna have like your assassination. You have different objectives. But apparently this Hitman is going to be digital only, and, and when they release it, there's going to be only like a couple missions, and then they're going to add more missions. Yeah, they got the rice this time to Battle Warfare. Yeah. Like, what's, what's, what's crazy is like, my friend was like talking shit, he was like, oh, Hitman, whatever. I'm like, dude, you don't understand the rush of, of the Hitman. Like, when Hitman was good before Absolution, Absolution was not good. It was, it was trying to be like an action game, I don't know why they did that. But, um... The rush, the, the rush of Hitman is sneaking into a target, taking them out silently without anyone seeing them. If you could do, if you could do, if you kill a target as an accident, that's that, that's pure Hitman assassination, elite shit. Um, and then you you get out the level and you walk out and the music plays that moody music that you heard in the trailer. That is the Hitman experience, and that is literally what they're making. And I can't wait. One of the sickest details I was watching the the gameplay thing was that every once in a while in the levels our target will appear for a certain amount of time and once someone takes out that target they'll never appear again that is fucking awesome and hit the contract mode from absolution is coming back where you make your own targets for other people to play that literally gives so much replayability to that game like i can't wait december 8th i'm buying that game i love it man look at the chat Know, PS4 did to get the first DLC, blah blah. Yeah, it's all exclusive. Everybody else gets a DLC. Yeah, they they show the Arkham Knight DLC, like they had the Scarecrow DLC. But that, I mean, it's all time exclusive. Like it's eventually gonna come out. Like, well, actually, you know what? That I'm gonna correct myself. I, I don't think the Joker DLC from Arkham Arkham Asylum ever came out for Xbox. Maybe I'm wrong, but I remember when the first one came out, they had exclusive Joker DLC. So I don't know. So I don't know, dude. You know, you never know with these people. You never know. Um, what else was Sony's press conference? What else? What am I missing? They didn't announce any backwards compatibility. They didn't announce any price drops. Uh, did they even talk about the Vita? I don't even remember. Uh, uh, I was talking about shit of cool. Uh, yeah, I don't. I don't. There's what else is to fucking add? It's Call of Duty, not a Call of Duty. Um, me and Madoku showed a new game called Dreams, which looked interesting, but I don't know if you call that a game. I don't know what the fuck that shit was about. Looked really weird as hell. Um, then they en ended it with Uncharted 4, which at first looked Uncharted 4, like, alright, Uncharted 4, shooting people, alright. PlayStation 4 already has backwards compatibility. No, what are you talking about? It doesn't. Can't, you can't play PS3 games on it. You, you could you could, you play digital games, but you can't play like I can't. You can't put a PS3 game into PS4. Oh yeah, they have that streaming service. Yeah, I don't. I didn't. I mean, if you tried it, I don't know. Obviously, it's crappy because people didn't talk about it. Um, that's probably why they don't give a fuck. I mean, I've honestly given up with back backs compatibility on these systems after the whole PS3 and 360 debacle. It's like keep. Your old systems. If you want to play old games, keep your old systems. Don't rely on the new systems to play old games. It's nice in theory, but don't expect it. That's that's my opinion. Like don't ex they don't they don't have to do it. All right, they don't. Just keep your old system. That's that's all you gotta do. Keep your old system. Cause guess what? You go to GameStop, try to trade in your old system, then give you fucking ten dollars for it. If you're lucky. Shit. Uh, they ended it with Uncharted 4, which at first looked kind of boring. Then, then he got into a car, became Grand Theft Auto Uncharted, and that looked pretty cool. I wouldn't consider it a must buy. I'll definitely game fly it if I have a PS4. And yeah, that was Sony's press conference. Nintendo doesn't do press conference anymore. They did like digital events. They did one on Sunday where they like announced a bunch of Smash Bros. DLC, Ryu, Lucas, and Roy from Fire Emblem came back, and I played at my friend's house. Uh, I didn't really play Ryu because uh, Ryu, I don't care. I don't care for Street Fighter, but it's awesome to see Nintendo actually supporting the game this past launch. It's really weird to see, it, to, to be honest. And then their digital event, which kind of lackluster, they just literally 
announce what you would expect Nintendo to announce. I mean, the new Star Fox Zero looked good. And, uh... There's a man that says, I'm going to games to get myself Fallout, New Vegas, and 3. Well, if you buy Fallout 4, you get Fallout 3 for free, Lizard Man, so just give me a heads up. Um, make sure you guys vote for the backwards compatibility games. I posted a link on my Twitter and Facebook. Right now, Red Dead Redemption is the top wanted game that for backwards compatibility on the Xbox One, which I, that was a great game in my opinion. So we gotta wrap this up. Um, Nintendo's thing was kind of bleh. Star Fox looked cool. I played Mario Maker. That's really awesome. They announced Mario Tennis, uh, new Metroid, few something Enterprise. That Metroid game for 3DS looked like shit. Looked like a shitty port of Halo 5 on the 3DS. To be honest, I was really disappointed. And um, just blew myself up because that's how cool I am. Yeah, that was disappointing, dude. But um. Yeah, need to know. I knew they weren't going to show Zelda. They said they weren't going to show Zelda. I don't know why they didn't show Zelda. That's all they had to do was show Zelda and, and like, announce a new Metro game for the Wii U. But apparently, they're not making a Metro game for the Wii U. They're for the next system, the NX. The NX. Ay, ay, ay. I'm also disappointed they didn't, didn't do a price shop or a new bundle. Well, they have a Splatoon bundle. But I was, I was hoping for a Smash Brothers bundle. So, I don't know. Nintendo does their own thing, and uh, I still want a Wii U. I'm not gonna lie, but I'm not buying a Wii U for $300. 200 150 in my opinion. If you hate me for it, that's my opinion. I don't know what to tell you. This man says they had a 3DS Zelda. Yeah, it's like a 4 Link to the World Sword 4 player. That's th they've done it before, dude. It's nothing new. It's not an all new Zelda. It's a 4 player dungeon crawler at best. It's it's Link Four Swords. If you never played Four Swords, then I don't know what to tell you, dude. That's all it is. It's nothing new. Nintendo playing is safe. I mean that Mario Maker. I played the Mario Maker the other day. I'm gonna make some evil levels. <laughs> I'll tell you right now, I'm gonna make some evil levels. All right, folks, let's wrap this up. I don't want to stretch it out, and I think you're tired of hearing my voice. Uh, follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Twitch as Last Respawn. Just look up Last Respawn. I'll come up. If you want to send me an email for to read on the podcast? That'd be awesome. I need to get this on iTunes. I'm still figuring it out. YouTube won't let me post it because this is like an hour long until I get verified. I don't know when that's gonna happen because I don't post that many videos. Uh, but definitely follow me on Twitch. So you can chat with me live. I do the podcast. Um. That's it. It was. I wish I would have been at E3. I went to E3 like when I was living in Cali. It was awesome. And I hope I can go. I'm trying to move back next year. Anyway, this is not about me. It's about the games, it's about the movies, it's about the life. And, uh, well, thank you for listening. Hopefully, th you're listening to this iTunes one day. I gotta figure it out. Get my ass together. If not, you're listening to it on Twitch, and thank you for listening. Thank you for watching, and let me end it with the greatest song ever. <laughs>